right? Adjust here, and now this is a great position for me to dive back. I release this by opening my foot up, and then I come back and I attack the ashi as I'm stepping out. I drive, I step, and when the weight comes off the front leg, I do a little free ashi go out. And then this space opens up. I already have a good inside position with my arms. One for turn throw, this is gonna be a lot easier. All right guys, I'm here with Sensei Glick. We're gonna do something very, very interesting today. It's gonna be very specific. Lead leg foot sweeps to open up your kenkatsu position for your turn throws. Wow, right to say? Let's do it. This video is sponsored by Judo TV. Discount code Shintaro, judotv.com for the highest levels of judo in the game. So, all right, right versus left. Let's have you on the outside. I have inside position, I have his outside position. And now from here, a lot of the times people try to attack this lead leg however it is, uh, but it's not easy to kind of just foot sweep that leg because it's the closest leg, everyone knows this thing is coming. So we're gonna go sleeve collar here, right? And we're gonna use some of these movements to open up a lot of our turn throws, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is first, I'm gonna go reach and then put my foot behind the calf here, okay? Notice my hand position must be in good position here or I'm gonna get in trouble because look, if I'm here and if I go like this, there's nothing stopping his body from coming across foot to foot and going to Soto or soto or anything here, okay? So I must have this frame across the neck, a good position, before I go high on the calf here, okay? So when I go high on the calf from here, look, I slide this foot down to the floor here, okay? And now, everyone knows this sticky foot dashi where I pull the heel out and then take him over this way, okay? So this is option A. Once we do this, we're gonna go high, we're gonna bring the foot down, and look, we're gonna pivot so we're to the side. Okay, and now from here, look, when I drive my weight away from his lead leg here, look, the weight comes off of this leg, and this moment where I bring this foot close, I lift and I dump him backwards, okay? So classic, classic stuff. I, I promise it's gonna get better, okay? We go high, one, two, back here, okay? And now from here, he doesn't do anything. I release this by opening my foot up, okay? And then I come back and I attack the ashi, as I'm stepping out, okay? So now there's a level of delayed dashi attack, okay? So now we have three attacks there. Another one that we can do here is just a classic step on the foot sort of a situation here. I put my foot very close. I drive, I step, and when the weight comes off the front leg, I do a little kuriyash barai. So now what you have is sort of a system of lead leg dashi attacks. One, right? One, two, circle, dashi here. One, Dashi, right? And then I could also go here and then go heel hook dashi, as per usual, right? And it's very sort of a tricky thing because I'm constantly attacking this lead leg here. Boom, right? Dashi, right? Very important, as you're doing all this stuff, the hand is always in good position. And sometimes I may go up here, right? And sometimes I may put the foot down here. I may disengage, game position, right? Adjust here, and now this is a great position for me to dive back for one of these guys, right? So, all these different things kind of work together. You want to cycle through these guys, attack that lead leg, put constant pressure on that lead leg as you're fighting for position with your hands, right? And of course, once this happens and he fears all my attacks, it's very easy for him, me, to draw this leg backwards with any sort of pain because now he feels, right? And then this space opens up. I already have a good inside position with my arms. Going for turn throws, this is gonna be a lot easier, in theory, right? This video is sponsored by Judo TV, discount code Shintaro, judotv.com. Check it out for the highest levels of Judo in the game. What should I say? Oh, sss. thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here, mm -hmm. you're kind of like priming him. Mm -hmm. Hey, I won't do anything. One, two, here, right? Mm -hmm. So now once you know this, I go here, right? And it's like, ah, you know what, forget it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a little bit of a, yeah. And that one gets everybody. Eugene kind of does this too. You know what Eugene does? He goes like, dashi here like this. Mm -hmm. And then he goes. Mm. It's like a pause. Yeah. 